It's an opportunity to, to, to find ways that some of our communities can get out of poverty. A new group has expressed interest in buying the Trans Mountain Pipeline from the federal government, First Nations. But there are a number of questions about how that would work, not the least of which is finding the right financial model. And that's just one of the things First Nations leaders are talking about here at the Indigenous Energy Summit. We, we see a lot of steps in this process and then first of all is uh, we know there's about five or six interest groups, different First Nations that are come forward wanting to purchase or be a part owner of the, this pipeline. But the, some of the issues is right now, who do we go to the federal government? You know, uh, We've asked uh, Minister Sohi to attend, unfortunately he declined. The vision from many here is that the pipeline carrying crude from Edmonton to Vancouver would be 100% owned and operated by Indigenous peoples. But the big question is whether or not that satisfies the largest sticking point, First Nation consultation. The project stalled after the Federal Court of Appeal ruled there needed to be more of it. Industry has their definition, government has their definition and we have our definitions. And we demand the best consultation. But saying that, you know, we got to start consulting with each other. You know, obviously with, we definitely honour and respect the three tribes on the coast with their position as they brought to attention Kinder Morgan and, and uh, the federal government. But now that's hurting our communities here. Alberta Premier Rachel Notley sees Indigenous ownership as an interesting idea but cautions it isn't without its own challenges. Um, I think we're a little ways away from those final decisions being made, but uh, I encourage uh, actually groups to come together and, and look at ways in which they can participate in the project. Some First Nations groups continue to resist the pipeline, but leaders here remain optimistic a solution which satisfies everyone can be reached. If you talk to any Indigenous leaders, you know, they want to see economic development. And, and I think this is one area that, you know, we can definitely take advantage of. Whether this path leads to a long-term solution or not, this remains a big issue, not just for Alberta, but for the rest of the country as well. In fact, this newly released Angus Reid poll shows the majority of Canadians, 6 in 10, feel the lack of new pipeline access is a national crisis, even in B.C., the only province that doesn't think it's a national crisis is Quebec. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.